What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Off of a Bassin. Today's video we're going to be using the Venom Lures Ned Shot again with the DK Rig. Uh, you can find all the stuff at VenomLures.com. Use code BubbaVille. It's on the screen right here for 10% off on anything on the website. Um, we caught a couple decent fish off the Venom Lures Buzz Bait and the Ned Shot like I was saying. But if you're new here, please hit the like and subscribe button. A lot of people that are watching this videos are not subscribed. And I got the little graphic right here so y'all can see that. But uh, we've been fishing for about four hours and we got a little decent video for y'all today. Pastor Grady fished here earlier today and I think he caught five or six on a buzz bait. But without further ado, we're going to get into it. So we'll catch y'all in a little bit. Is that back motor on or something? Hey, if you hit something with that, like when you're reeling it, and you feel yourself hit something, pause it. And then reel it. You know what I mean? Putting a little turd on would work. What does that feel like? You got to you give it a kiss? No, I'm gonna kiss my own fish. Got a big one. not even fair. I mean, come on. You had a head start. <laughs> yeah, I figured this out when you got here. <laughs> what do you think she is, babe? Just about five pounds. I'm going to say 578. What do you think? Before you wear, you cheater. Like four forty-seven. What? Five thirty-seven. <laughs> All right. So, what are you putting on my? <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to cast this. We're gonna put the girl back. Thank you, girl.
right guys, so if y'all made it this far, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel and it helps me give back to y'all and create better content. Uh, so we're going to go over what types of baits I used and where I threw them and the spots I pinpointed to find these fish. I did realize that all the buck bass were up on the beds um, and running a Venom Lures buzz bait with a four inch beaver on the back uh, definitely enticed the buck bass to bite. And then we threw the Ned shot made by Venom Lures on the DK rig. This is a 1 8 ounce, little tiny guy. You can see it right there. It's a mushroom style bait. Uh, like I threw in the previous video, if you haven't checked out that video, it's in the right corner. Um, the Ned shot is a bait that has the ribs and a little paddle tail. And this thing is only like 3.5 inches long. Very, very skinny and very very uh finesse i threw it on 10 pound test vicious fluorocarbon this line basically lets me cast this little tiny thing not on a spinning rod um, it helps me just present the finesse presentation better and then i threw it on a uh, seven foot three medium fitzgerald rod <clears throat> and uh this thing is very very bendable it has a lot of backbone for only being a medium I'm able to catch giant fish on it y'all saw and I threw it on a lose LFS speed spool this is a 7.5 to 1 um, I like the in-between for my finesse so that way I can speed up or slow down and then back to the buzz bait this buzz bait is a traditional style buzz bait this is a half ounce head uh, it's a pretty big buzz bait and we have a Venom lures better beaver on the back with these little curly tails so that way they flap behind it and really uh, get a bass to be enticed. Um, it's just a standard two blade buzz. Um, my buddy Grady likes to throw the, the three bladed buzz. I don't know, he has more confidence with that than anybody I know right now, but uh, I was throwing this bait on Versa uh, Moss Green Fitzgerald fishing line. It's braided line actually, and I like throwing all my top water on braid because it doesn't sink. Um, some people like to throw it on mono, but if you throw it on fluorocarbon, it will sink on you. And the top water rod that I was using is a seven foot eight composite series all purpose rod from Fitzgerald Fishing. And this thing has tons of backbone on it. And <clears throat> Uh, it, it has tons of backbone to set hooks with frogs and buzz baits, but then it has enough tip to work a bait. And I like a shorter rod to work a jerk bait or a topwater bait so that way I can walk the dog or pop a frog or just cast out and set the hook on a moving bait when a bass just comes up and eats it from underneath. The reel I was using was a Lose Classic Pro. Um, I had to go cheap right now because I haven't been able to get my lose LFS on this rod yet, but it did the trick. Um, so what I noticed is, is that the bass were staged up on the beds. The bucks were guarding the fry if, or the eggs if there was any. Um, it was really hard to see the beds and stuff. And I noticed that the females were further off. They were like five to 10 feet off. Um, and the one that I caught, the big one, when I released it with my hand underneath of her, I felt her stomach where all the eggs were gone and it was just kind of like mush under there. So a couple of the big ones have already spawned in the lake and uh, I'm going to try to target um, some type of moving bite bait next time maybe. Um, I'm going to try not to throw the same stuff again so that way I can get more versatile and show that I can catch stuff on, you know, different baits than what I was doing for the past two videos. So the buzz bait and the Ned shot with the DK rig was definitely money. And if you want anything in this video that you've seen, just go to venomlures.com and use code Bubbaville. Everything is in the link in the description so you can check it out. But I'm supposed to be going back tomorrow and uh, hopefully we get on some giant ones. I'm going to try to put them in the live well and try to get the biggest limit I can get out of five fish. And like I said, if you're new here, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you had not checked out Fitzgerald Fishing, they make awesome fishing rods. And all the third-person shots you saw was from my Yellow Tech stick. Um, Yellow Tech 
is one of the best recording sticks on the market. And if you want one, just go and down the link in the description and go to Yellow Tech. And once you use my link and my code, you'll get a certain percentage off and it really helps me and then I can give back to y'all. I'm trying to do a future giveaway soon. Once we reach 3,000 subscribers, uh, we're pretty close. I think we're only like six or 700 away and that's not really that many away. So like I said, I love giving back to y'all and hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. So next time I see y'all, I'll see y'all on the lake and the wife's actually having shoulder surgery soon. So I'm gonna not be able to go out for at least two weeks until she gets uh, some rest and recovery underneath of her so that way she can, you know, do what she's gotta do. So I gotta take care of her after I get off work. Um, and hopefully we can get her back in the boat soon. She's gonna be on the shelf for at least six months. So please pr say prayers for her for so that way she can get to a speedy recovery and get back on the boat with me. And uh, like I said, catch you on the water and I'm out.